Hello and welcome back to The Note. Many readers will note that I've written very many rather critical columns about active fund management of late. My guest today is also quite a strong critic of the fund management industry with the extra twist that he's also in charge of a large fund manager, Hermes Investment Manager, and he's also uh, been a leading light in the 300 group, which is one of the most important uh, groupings of chief investment officers. So could I introduce Saka Nusebe? Saka, thank you very much for Thank you for having today. me. What exactly should be the response of the active management industry to the growth of passive investing and why has passive investing grown to such an extent? Uh, I think it makes sense that passive investing does grow. Uh, indeed, Hermes, the firm that I come from, uh, mm. pretty much invented it back in the 80s before it was common. Mm. Why? Because there's a conundrum at the heart of all asset management. And the conundrum is this. Mm -hmm. There is skill. I disagree with those who says there is no skill. There is skill. But there isn't much of it, right? But there it's isn't different. much of it. It's pretty rare. It's pretty rare. And even if it exists, there's a limit to how much you can, in fact, invest within it. Given how much assets we have out there in the savings industry right across the world, by 2020 this is expected to grow as much as $200 trillion, there is no way that can all be uh, looked after with skillful manner. The way it has been disguised by my uh, industry has been by creating what I call uh, quasi-active funds. That is Others call them closet indexes. Or closet yes. indexes, uh, and charging higher fees for them. And these are neither fish for no file. They're neither skillful nor are they, in fact, as cheap as, as index. So where is the way forward, given that we can all agree that that is, that is a meaningless, you know, useless hybrid that doesn't help us allocate yeah. capital, doesn't do a good job for clients? What is the way forward? I think the way forward is that hybrid disappears, entirely disappears. Mm. And the world sort of bifurcates into two. On the one hand, you have a groupings of, I think, mostly medium-sized asset management houses. My own bias is that they can't be much more than 50 to 60 billion pounds of assets on the management. And these are the skillful houses. And I don't mean that they do it through leverage uh, or through shorting. I just mean through old-fashioned fundamental research and skill. Right. And there's, there's a limit to that. But the vast majority would be then run in either ETFs or in index funds. The problem with that is that unless you do something else, you end up with a world which has corporations that have absolutely no ownership structure to them. And where corporation. the executives become far too powerful. And, and the executives too become far too powerful and far too short term. And in fact, look after their own interests rather than the interests of all stakeholders. Now, some big passive managers would argue, well, we know we can't sell these stocks. So of course, we've got to engage with them because uh, otherwise, we have no recourse to to try to get good performance out of the companies we own. Is that a is that a fair argument? Does that I, line I, up with their, their it, behavior? It, it does not line up with what I see of their behavior, and moreover, it doesn't line up from what we know. I mean, again, we have uh, probably the largest uh, stewardship and engagement team anywhere in the world at Hermes. Now, it's expensive. We're a small house with thirty billion pounds, and I have forty of them, mm. and fifteen of them are active managers or the equivalent of active managers. It's an expensive resource. So are you therefore arguing we've had this wonderful period when uh, led by vanguards and whoever else we've got to the point where you can buy beta, you can buy exposure to large cap American stocks for almost nothing. Uh, is that going to end? Was this a brief period when yes. we could buy the market that very, cheaply? Very much so. And I think the, the discussion between beta, smart beta or otherwise and alpha is the wrong discussion. The vast majority of the service that asset managers will have to provide, because they're going to be indexed, is going to be stewardship. And stewardship is expensive. So these behemoths, in fact, have to morph into stewardship houses. Right. And there'll still be a small part for active managers who are also good stewards. That is the future, but it's a long way there. And it means that index funds become more expensive, definitely. OK, Saka, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. I hope that was interesting. I'd just like to make one final point. I have spent a lot of my time recently attacking active managers. I want to make it clear that's not because I don't think there should be any active management. It's because I think the critical problem facing the world today when it comes to the efficient allocation of resources, allocation of capital, is that we need better active management somehow or other. Certainly, the ideas we've just heard are one very interesting way in which we might get that.